hello and welcome to another amazing tutorial with skin tech coding clinic where we shall be learning how to develop an amazing and powerful robust school management system using ms excel and vba okay we've already developed one that was the version one and you can check out the videos on my channel you see all the videos over there we then upgraded it to version 2.1 pro and now we are now on the third version here and i'll be teaching you how to develop this amazing system okay it's a complete course fully packed for you so now let's see how this system works i can log in here as an associate or as a developer because i have areas i need to access in case of bug fixing and all that and i can now these are the terms and conditions of the application okay I'll be teaching you how to create all that now let me quickly log in from here i can reset my password for me in case i forget about my password let me just log in from here by entering my username and then the password then find simple i'm in perfect i'm in so from here you can see the dashboard this intuitive dashboard here so now far there is no data in the system i don't want to prolong this video so data entries wouldn't be done but if you want to see a complete video on how the system works where you see me live entering data i'll leave the link for that particular video in the description below you can pick that video up and watch and see how the system works for now i'm going to work you through the features and that'll be all so once you begin to enter data you realize that this dashboard that the chart will begin to float up and you see the data uh, on just showing just how the system works and how the, the, the data is being populated into the system so here you can customize the system with your school name and then address the contact and then you can browse and grab your logo from here then it should be good to go here you can upload the headmaster signature so once you upload it from here once then it will reflect on all the templates that is the student all the student exams reports all the 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 bill sheets all the fees receipt and payment receipt and other important documents that the head teacher signature is supposed to be on to reflect on all of them with that you can easily print the student enrollment the current student enrollment by clicking on this button browse your destination and then you have that printed you can set up sms this system helps you to send sms to to teachers as well as parents to notify them on meetings and other stuff so you can do that from here and i'll be teaching you how to do all that now we can equally log out from here and then we log in again now moving forward let's look at the student section here where we have this is where we can admit our student and then assign them to their various classes so we admit student with this form and then assign them to their various classes here here we can import the data from version 2.1 pro if you you are already a user of version 2.1 pro now that is upgraded to version 3 you can up, you can just import your data from here you don't have to key in new you don't have to sit down again start entering data all over again we are doing this to save you time and energy so you can just import your data you can issue admission receipt just by entering the student admission number here click submit and then you have that as well printed you can just move to the next sheet and then come back but let's quickly go home from here we can equally let's see now let's go to the teachers we can keep teachers records from here where we can add teachers from this using this amazing form and then we can do a lot of stuff we can equally import teachers data from the previous version as well and we also have the teachers image that's the summary data of the teachers from here as well okay and then we also have fees this is where we can check fees okay we can update fees now all this list for the the fees and the exam will be getting to the exam so be coming from the main admission database so now we can click on this button to create list where we can have the student admission number the name the class the gender the admission date all coming from the database and then we can click on this button to update their fees the amount each and every student is supposed to pay per class or whatsoever we do that using this amazing form and then here we have uh, settle payment issues in case someone is claim he or she has paid you need to prove with receipt then we use the receipt number to check to confirm your payment we can do that using this form and then we can issue receipts here after payment just by entering student admission number here you click submit and you have the receipt printed we can equally import fees data from the previous version you click on this you browse then you grab the data then you import that here we have bill sheet okay at the end of the term the student needs to know the amount or the fees that they are going to pay for the coming term or coming academic year 
so the bill sheet takes care of that where we have the current bill the IRS, and then the tools are all together on the bill sheet so you can just print a single bill sheet for a particular student by just entering that student's id here or the admission number here then you click print and then you are good to go but sometimes that is boring you would want to print all the students the whole school you would want to print all their bill sheets at a go so you can do that by clicking on this just browse the folder in which you would want to export sorry print, that is export all those uh, bill sheets into you get the folder and then once you click this button you have all those bill sheets for each and every student starting from the first to the last student generated inside that folder okay so basically that is that about the fees session let's go home again now we move on to classes we have each and every student every class every level with their class we have crash we have nursery you can see them with their classes here as well we have the exam scores we, can, we have kg1 exam scores we have um, kg2 up to the top class here now let me show you something with the exam scores we have a very powerful feature here where teachers or where the, the admin can export this sheet here and then give it to the kg2 class teacher he or she is going to use this sheet and fill all the scores for the various subject at the end of the term exams and then after that bring back that sheet and then the sheet will then be imported back into the system and then we can have our report generated from here it's as simple as that i'll show you how the report is being generated now once that is done let me show you another thing again to the top classes we have subject teachers we can equally export for english teacher for, for him or her to fill for his subject or her subject alone and then bring it back for us to import it back into the system each and every subject can do that we have math science we can export and import for each and every class we give it to them to fill they bring it back we import it back into the system so once we are done then we can then move on to do what to generate our report so how do we generate report we click on this so from here let me show you something here before we move forward let me so let me come back to exam scores here from here we can create list by clicking on this you just create exams list and that'll be coming from the class once you click on this it will create the list from kg1 class and then we bring them here as well each and every class with their exam score sheet and same as creating of the list as well we can clear the list from here we can clear the scores at the end of the term from here where we can enter new scores and all that so how do we generate report it's simple just create a folder on the desktop okay so once you are done just browse to grab that folder but once you are done entering the report and everything you would want to upload the class teacher signature this is kg1 you can just click on this then we have this from browse and grab that teacher signature upload it and then you have the report in generate there you have the signature uploaded and once you hit this button you generate reports into pdf and all will be in a folder called kg1 report if you want it in excel format you do that so once report is generated you should see something like this you can see you have all the reports so this will be the template the sample report this is how the reports are going to look like it's very simple so you can see that we have the various report inside this folder here you can see kg1 report i've already generated samples of them here so that is how reports are being generated moving forward now we can equally let me just go back home and then we can see everything clearly we can equally send sms to teachers as well as parents from here once we we come here we can just click on this to create teachers list and that'll be coming from the teachers database their names and contacts so how do we how do we even compose the message it's simple to click compose just click in, on this compose just begin typing your message so let's say there is going to be a b sorry yeah a staff meeting simple as that so once you and there's don't even add hi or hello once you are done for now it wouldn't work let me show you something let me try entering some data here let me say the name of the student the teacher is sorry john without data here we can't compose a message so the contact is 0542590854 then we have the next person here maybe yao and then the same let me use try using the same contact number and just let me just drag this as well at least three teachers that would be good and then maybe uh, James something like that stuff so we can edit this number so once we are done we can just quickly click on this compose and then just type the message there is going to be going to be a staff meeting 
will stop so once you and i just click on compose now let's see what happens you can see that with this compose message one message is now composed for all these teachers no matter the number of teachers is going to be composed for all of them so once we are done just click on send and the message will be sent to each and every teacher with their contact to their contact here we can equally do the same thing to parent as well supposing we would want to organize pta meetings we can send them this message straightforward and then basically they'll respond to it the same procedure we can equally send sms to a particular class supposing i would want to send sms to only basic five i'll just click on this the drop down list just choose the class once i click on get class sms list it will it will just bring the class students parents names here as well as their parent contact here then we can compose and send sms to that particular class parents we can do that as well it's very simple now the last thing is how we can email reports to parent it's as simple as anything can be simple now i've already shown you this sample report you've already generated so i'm going to use that to demonstrate so how do we do that we can equally create mail list from here so once we hit this button you will have the student's name here there the guardian name the email address so once you have this three you can then go ahead and compose the email let's say that the student name is a uh, uh ama james or whatsoever and then the guardian name is also let's see sorry and then another student is maybe john do okay so the guardian name is uh mr james here and then here mr john okay something like that mr john sorry john so once we add them we can just use their email addresses here maybe let's say james james at home.com and then here you can equally have let's say john okay at yahoo.com okay so now once we are done with that we can equally compose their email from here where we can enter the subject here let's say your words terminal report okay terminal report so once you are done, just enter the message. This is your words. Sorry. End of ten exams report. So once we are done with that, the next thing is to click submit. Now you can see we just compose email for them like that. This is the email subject. Hi, sir or madam, Mr. James. This is blah blah. So we have that. So once we are done, what we need to do right now is where are the the, the attachments okay the the report so we click on this browse then we go to the desktop here then we locate um the folder which holds the student report we have kg one this is it select it and then click on okay so you can see that we have the path here let me clear that and then redo it again for you to see let me browse again then we have kg one report so now you can see the path in here so once we click on submit or display and send it will send but there is something that is not right here so i can click on this because if i do it would it would throw an error to tell me the students are not found because the names i have here you can see the names i have here for the various students john doe uh bossa joycelyn and then yao mensa these are the names i have here and th those are not the names i have in the system so supposing i have the same but for now we have john doe here so i think this one should work so let me show you how it's going to work so let's see how it goes so you can see that it says i'm a james is not fine because that name is not the report for that student is not in that folder so let's see now we have john doe let's see how that happens so you can see it is being created the 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 mail is being created this is the mail here we have it here it's created now for that particular student it says what hi say oh madam mr john that is for john doe so this is the attachment this is the pdf this is the report so you can see that is the report from here so once everything is set you can just go ahead and click on send and then you have the report sent to the parent so that is how the system works so it's as simple as that so now let's quickly switch back home so basically that is how the system works. we can also log out from here click on this if you say no nothing happens but once you say yes then you are logged out so now this is a fully packed complete course from the first lesson to the last lesson you can check the link in the video description below i have the full course on my 
product store okay you can just check the link i'll just pin the link in the video description or in the comment section just click on the link and then you visit the the product page you'll be able to see the full course just go ahead and then grab the course and sit in the comfort of your home sit down follow the tutorial step by step and you should be able to develop this amazing system we also have the demo file of the system even if you are not able to develop it to the some extent you have the file inside the package and all the resources that will guide you to be able to develop this amazing system everything is in the zip file that you just grab once you are done with the purchase you can check the link in the video description below and then you have that up and running so it's as simple as that so thank you so much for watching so like i said check the link in the video description and you get exactly what you are looking for thank you so much and then see you in the next lesson bye bye